is going to be a new format I'm trying out. I really miss like OG, old school YouTube favorites videos. It's kind of like a better, more structured favorites video. So we're gonna be doing that today. While I'm getting ready for a wedding, I'm going to Janine's wedding this afternoon. I'm very excited. I need to get ready. I like half dried my hair. It's still a little bit wet. I made myself my morning coffee and I'm wearing my sweater from Jenny Kane. And Jenny Kane is actually sponsoring this video, which is literally a dream come true. Jenny, you know, we're on a first day basis. They sponsor the podcast and we're doing YouTube videos. So anyways, this sweater is amazing. If you guys don't know Jenny Kane, if you like me and my vlogs and anything, like Nancy Myers ask, like it's just, you'll love Jenny Kane. They're a California owned brand through and through. They just have staple wardrobe items that you will keep for so long. Like this sweater that I have, I plan on wearing this like when I have kids. I have another sweater from them that I will literally never get rid of. The quality is just unbelievable, it's unmatched. Little intermission for some lip gloss always. I also love her new skincare line that just came out. This is a complete side note. The balm that I have, hydrating balm, so good. I'll also link that. So they have the best sweaters. They have very iconic accessories and it just kind of like elevates your everyday style and wardrobe, makes it easier to get dressed. Like. Everything about it is just like amazing. Not to mention they have the best home items. Like I, oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna link this sweater and then I'll link a few other pieces from them that I just love and I think everyone should have. They are helping us live our best holiday season yet, which is obviously the goal. And for a limited time, my listeners, my YouTube viewers get 25% off your first order. That is honestly the best deal I've ever heard Jenny Kane give. So it's jennykane.com slash houseguest for 25% off, I'll link it below. Jenny Kane is known for their super Lux lightweight sweaters. They do cash rain better than anyone. They have the best collection of shoes. They have the best home decor. They have the best sweaters. They have the best of anything that I've never want, basically. It's a very like simple, timeless, elevated, refined line. They believe in the art of simplicity. So basically nothing that they have will ever go out of style. Like treat yourself to this sweater or one of the sweaters. I'll link a couple below. Also, it's an incredible gift for the holidays and use our code houseguest for 25% off. That is again, the best deal I've ever heard for Jenny Kane. But also, I mean, this is just such a timeless sweater and I will be living in it. I'm just in love. I will have everything linked below. It's time for me to drink my coffee. Oh my God, it's my white sweater. Our first letters are for reading, which is my favorite topic. I've actually been in a little bit of a book rut recently. Don't mind me, I'm making breakfast right now. So anyways, yeah, last night on the Saturday night, I started Mind Shift by Ernest McManus. I'm halfway through, it's a short read. It's really good. It says it doesn't take a genius to think like one. I really like books like that, so I'm reading that. The fiction book that I read was Flawless by Josie Silver. The first one in the series, the Chestnut Springs series, and I did not like it at all. Like, everyone is saying the second book is so much better. I hate when a book series is like the first one's not great and the second one's whatever. I had so many of y'all recommend it to me though, so I don't know, I wasn't pumped about it. Maybe I'll get around to reading the sequel. Books that I wanna read next, um, A Winter in New York, Josie Silver's new book. I loved One Day in December like two years ago. I'm excited to read that. I'm gonna read Iron Flame, and then I also am going to read this book, 10X is Easier Than 2X by Dan Sullivan, which we'll talk about later in this video. Oh, I read Britney Spears' memoir. Great, amazing, um, and Nothing Is Missing by Nicole Walters. I've really been on like a memoir, nonfiction kick, but I need to get back into the fiction reading. We're at the holiday season, you know? So for what I've been eating, I'm currently eating my bison quinoa hash. I got this recipe from Julian Hunter and I made it and I love it. It's so nice to have on hand in the morning. I've been trying to get more protein in the morning because I feel like that's the only time I actually feel good. <laughs> like if I don't get protein in the morning, I feel like I just crash really early in the day and that's been really helpful. I have it all in my recipe journal, obviously, but that recipe is actually from Fitman's Fitman Cook. It's also on the screen. Not to brag, but look at how cute my recipe journal is. We have low inventory. You guys can shop them below. I went through a chicken and dumplings phase a couple weeks ago. I made it so many times. I'll have it actually on the screen, but it's so good. It's easier to make than you would think. And it's such a crowd fave. It's not a healthy meal by any means. Don't get me wrong, but 
it's just kind of perfect for this time of year and I feel like it's so fun, especially if you're watching like Christmas movies or like decorating the tree or doing something like that. I have been hosting a lot lately and I have my two go-to appetizers. I just, I'll share one of them here, but I made a TikTok sharing my go-to appetizers that are both so easy to make, so simple, very few ingredients, like you get, if honestly foolproof appetizers to make people think that like you really know what you're doing. Bacon wrap dates. I have made these for the past couple of years. I started with my book club and then my friends have loved them so much that I basically make them for every single thing that I host. They're so easy to make. Um, it's bacon, goat cheese, and dates. I don't even use a toothpick, so you can. So easy and they're so good. They look gross. I always say they look gross, but they are so easy to make. So really that's what I've been eating. I'm trying to think, oh, I'm always eating the Vital Proteins um, boiled eggs, always. I have those in my fridge, just in the bag. I know I could just make them myself. I'm like, why don't I, now that I'm thinking about it? I'll start doing that, but it is just nice to have them on hand um, because it's just like a nice source of protein and it gives me more energy. And I need to start doing my makeup for this wedding. Moving on to pee. So for playing, I have a couple really good podcast recs that I'm very passionate about, but we'll start off with music. I've been loving Cody Johnson's new album. Obviously the Texas song is my favorite. Any song that has to do with Texas, like, I love it. By the way, this cup is from Urban and these spoons are from Lapel Club. They're so cute. Just, I wish y'all could see my little setup right here. It's so cozy. I've also been doing my makeup the past couple of days on the floor in my closet and it just, something about it just screams like girlhood. You know what I mean? I love rain lashes. They're the only lashes that I can put on, but I lost my glue and the little thing that I do to apply it. So that's unfortunate. So for music. We need to talk about whatever drug Taylor Swift put in. The 1989 Voltrax. <gasps> Guys, my hand. How did it take me all day to notice that? I have a wedding. Guys. <gasps> okay, I'll have to figure that one out. Let's just ignore for the time being. Those are, in my opinion, the best vault tracks ever. Literally ever. I um, love Now That We Don't Talk. Actually, one time I posted it a couple weeks ago and a guy replied as if he thought it was about him. And I was like, not about you. That was literally what I replied. And it really wasn't about him, but it's just like, shut up. You know what I mean? Like I've had enough. But anyways, this is possibly my all time favorite foundation. It is so good. I also got my nails done. If y'all are in Dallas, I hired a girl through Glam Squad. I have a code that I'll put in the description. She came to my house and did my nails. It wasn't that much more expensive than what I would normally pay. And I got the best manicure of my life and they're lasting so much longer. And like everything about it, like I don't think I've even, ever even had a good manicure before because I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow. I've never been someone who's picky with my manicures to be fair, but like I just know that this is the best one I've ever had. So good. Anyways, Now That We Don't Talk is one of my top Taylor Swift songs ever at this point. It is so good. So I've been playing a lot, a lot of Taylor Swift and Cody Johnson and Chris Stapleton, obviously, in the fall. It's basically, for me, it's always country or I've been listening to Tate McRae. I love Greedy. Like, there's something in that song that does something to you in Taylor Swift. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. For podcast, one of my favorite podcasters is Ed Milet. He is a dream guest of mine. It's not that crazy far off, like we've talked about it, and he's a voice message me before on Instagram, which makes me feel very cool. Um, but he has this podcast episode that's titled like How to 10X Your Life with Dan Sullivan, the guy that I mentioned earlier that I said we talked about later. Um, and I have listened to that podcast episode. I think I'm on my third time and I need to read the book and like literally take notes And the idea is that it's easier to 10x your life Than it is to 2x your life and that has sent me down like a rabbit hole of like my next year and what I want to do um, Just like career wise and I was also reading that book by Erwin McManus earlier today and it was just talking essentially about like reframing and I feel like with myself like because I haven't grown I think like I mean the podcast has definitely grown I haven't really grown on like YouTube or like my socials that much in the past couple of years and that really has stopped being my focus because I care more about like the community that we have and I feel like it's so tight knit and I love y'all um but in my head I think I've started to have like limiting beliefs. He starts off the book with a quote, something along the lines of some people are just structured to fail because of how they think. 
And so the idea is that you can be structured to succeed by way of thinking if you do it the right way. I love that. Combination of that and the 10x thing. They tell a story about how this man made goals for the next 10 years of his life and then he read about the 10x thinking and then he did all of those goals that he had for the next five years in three weeks. It's essentially like the inverse way of thinking, um, but I really liked it and it's really like done something for me last night. It was Saturday night. I have a really busy week so I just wanted to stay in and I always have a wedding today. This is the part of my makeup that's like, I need to figure out what brush is best. And I started on my like 2024 vision board and I'm just like really excited and I'm excited for the podcast. I'm hiring someone to do video and audio or video and photos from the home because I just have a whole idea for like marketing and making it better and all the guests that I want and just like specific solo podcast episodes that I'm excited for and I just always want to be getting better. I feel like I'm always saying that, but like that's because I always want to be getting better. Anyways, I have this limiting thought of like, well, I'm here and I'm already, I look crazy. I have this limiting thought of like, oh, well, I'm here and like I haven't grown much. So like maybe this is just the type of like creator that I am. Like I won't grow, I won't do this, I won't do that, whatever. Um, and so I'm really trying to like shift that thinking. I really am not um, numbers obsessed. I think I should care a lot more about numbers than I do, given that it is like a big part of my career. So I'm tr I'm working on it. So at my lap, the 10X podcast episode, listen to it, tag me on Instagram, I wanna see. And then I love the Skinny Confidential Rob Deirdrick episode. That is probably my number one favorite podcast episode ever. They need to have them on, and this Skinny Confidential needs to do like a part four with Emma Lett, hopefully in January. Um, I need to ask, but best bronzer ever. And I re-listened to that this month, and it's just been so good. Like, it's, it, I could literally never get tired of that podcast episode. So for obsessing over, I have quite a few things right now, actually. First things first, obviously my Christmas decor. By the time y'all are watching this, my garland will be up. I haven't done that yet in real time. It's November 12th. I feel like I'm really running behind on this. Um, but I've had my Christmas tree up since before um, Halloween, and I decorated it on Halloween, if I'm being honest. And I don't regret it at all. I always do it normally November 1st, but I just was needing a little holiday cheer this year, and I, and I don't regret anything that I've done. Actually, that's not true, but I don't regret my Christmas tree. Because this is like what I do for eyeshadow. I literally just do the top three of these and then sometimes I'll put a lid color on. I'm so excited to see Janine get married today. I've just been around Janine since I was 16 and just known like she's just gone through the ringer honestly. And I'm so excited. It gives me hope honestly, it really does. This is my favorite Christmas tree I have ever decorated and I don't know if anything, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna switch it up for a very long time because honestly, it's perfect. It just is. With the velvet ribbon, and I got mine from Anthropology. If you guys saw Velvet Ribbon Gate, you would know it was next to impossible to find Velvet Ribbon pretty much anywhere. Everyone's commenting, Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know that they have it, but it goes out of stock very quickly. I went to multiple stores, I went online, like they either had some that in my opinion just looked tacky or it was out of stock. So if you can get them at other places, by all means, please do and save the money. But honestly, like, I'm actually really glad that I ended up being forced to spend more money on the ribbon just because it's not ribbon that I'm gonna throw away. Like, I tied bows and they're gonna stay on my Christmas tree for like years to come. So it was more so like their ornaments, if that makes sense. So I didn't mind it as much. And the ribbon is so beautiful. I ended up buying more. I'm gonna do it on my garland. I'm gonna make a big tree topper. Just perfect. Um, and then I got these um, ornaments. I'll link below all of my stuff for my tree. Um, I also got ornaments from Anthropology. And uh, when I got them, by the way, they were on sale. So I didn't mind like spending a little bit more for just like basic sphere ornaments. But everyone who comes over says those are so nice looking. And I feel like my other ones, no one said that. So, but I was like, since when people compliment that? So I feel like it is just like very noticeable. I mean, I thought they looked fine, but I just love it like so much. And I did get lucky and get them on sale. I have been wearing my brown trench coat literally nonstop. It's from Princess Polly from years ago. I got it even too big and I don't care because I love it. It is my favorite coat that I own. Besides my beige taupe coat, I've been taupe coat. Why did that sound so weird? I just ruined that word for myself forever. I really did. Taupe, beige, taupe. Wait, why did I say taupe, beige, taupe? Guys, I don't know. I don't know, it's Sunday. 
anyways it's a really stunning brown coat and I'm gonna link below um, a close one that they have on Princess Blood that's black and then I did find one from Frankie's and part of me is like maybe I should just ask for that for Christmas but I love that one so much so I feel like I don't really need it but since I wear it all the time I guess it would be nice to have like a really nice version of it because I know that I'll wear it for probably ever that's the thing about coats and sweaters like Jenny Kane like it lasts forever it doesn't go out of style it's timeless oh my god I cannot believe I haven't mentioned this already bows 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 which I guess I did when I was talking about the Christmas tree but I've been wearing bows in my hair I've been trying to tie bows to my Uggs I've been putting bows anywhere if something has a bow on it I buy it I am so passionate about a good bow and I just have to say like my friend Claire Koo Smith if you guys are in Dallas you guys probably follow her on TikTok she has been a bow girl for so long and I don't know if like subconsciously that's what got into me and made me become a bow girl or if I just realized that like I'm not very good at doing my hair so when my hair looks bad I can just throw my hair in a bun and then put a bow over it call it a day and it looks amazing so I have an entire Amazon storefront of all the bows that I bought and then that's just translated to my Christmas tree I also have been putting bows on stuff for hosting though for a bit um, I just ordered new stuff because I'm hosting Friendsgiving this upcoming week and I'm ordering like big bows to do it on the candles and it's beautiful and I'll use it for Christmas stuff too. It's just like stunning. I love, love bows and I haven't been spending like a ton of money on like, but like fashion bows, not like, you know, the other bows. I really, really like them. My makeup is done. I need to go do my hair. I normally do my hair first, which it would have actually made more sense so my hair would have looked good throughout this video. So for R, R is recommending. And what I'm recommending right now is my new dinner party card game. So I have a brand, if y'all didn't know, called Friend of Mine. It's a homeware brand, it's a hosting brand. It's basically about everything within the home. I love hosting dinner parties. I love having dinner card games just available. I, for the past couple of years, my friends and I have loved just bringing these along to dinners even, like our Friday night girls dinners, because they've been so fun. And it just makes you talk about like, different sort of things and I've been wanting to come out with my own for so long and finally it made sense so there's 59 cards in each box the cards themselves are actually just like the best quality let's see what this question is if you restarted your life from day one would you still end up here um I am obsessed I'm so excited I love the recipe journal I love the dinner cards they're my two favorite things I've ever put out and they are available now y'all need a christmas gift if you need to ask for a christmas gift if you just want to buy these yourself um it means so much to me every single order small business it's really just me and i'm just so grateful for every single order that comes through like i have my shopify notifications on because i just like need to see every single one and i pretty much look at every single person's name so anyways this dinner card game is so fun it's a great gift it's just a great thing to have on hand and i'm so 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 proud of it it does fit in purses it is a little thick though so it just depends on the bag that you have but regardless love it so much it's time to curl my hair which is the last thing what did i just do it's the last thing i want to do it's time for hair which is my least favorite part of getting ready i'm not good at it and i just don't like it so moving on to treating now that i'm thinking about it this isn't really treating myself but i've been cold plunging in my pool and i'll let you guys in on a little secret it's been a little bit warmer lately and that's when my cold plunges have been easier and i felt bad lying okay but listen when you cold plunge everyone knows that the first thing you have to do is tell everyone that you're cold plunging like that's like literally the whole point so it's just like this morning it was at like 55 and i think it has to be under 50 technically for you to get all the benefits but it randomly got hot here for a couple days so my pool went up and it was at 44 which is what i want it to be at i cold plunged this morning i've been doing it Probably done it like four or five times in the past week and I've really liked it. I can't wait for it to be even colder. My dream is to have an actual cold plunge in this house and then, but also like, we'll just see through the winter like how cold the pool gets because it's not gonna get under 34. So like, I feel like it's gonna be fine. I can just use that as my cold plunge. The issue is gonna be like when it gets warmer. My dream is to be able to cold plunge and sauna from my house. Okay, I'm just gonna switch sides of like how to curl my hair. I forgot how to do it. I've been having cute little like fireplace mornings. I've been having the fireplace on pretty much at any moment that I can possibly have it on. It's on in my house right now. Waking up in the morning, getting up an hour earlier and just like cozying up with my coffee. I've also been doing hot coffee in the morning. 
Um, I got a Keurig, going back to a Keurig. I'm just a Keurig girl. It's easier, it's simple. I like gas station coffee, so like, I don't need all the fancy lattes. I don't really make lot. I like the Nespresso, I really do for other people, like making it when they come over. But for myself, day to day, I really just need a Keurig. So I got another Keurig. I have two Nespresso's though. Long story, still love those. I have them for hosting and entertaining, but anyways, I'm going back to hot coffee. So in the morning, I've just been loving having a really cozy morning by the fireplace and reading my book. It's just been so fabulous. I've really been loving it. And this one is a little random. I, oh, well, I guess two things. My fire pit in my backyard is actually gonna be done done next week. So I, oh wow, my hair. So I got stuff to make s'mores and then we couldn't do it because it was 80 degrees outside somehow. So I just had Tony's chocolate left over at my house and Tony's chocolate is so good. I haven't had it in so long and that has just been, what a nice little treat to have. I'm going to let these curls sit and look a little crazy for the next 30 minutes probably. I still haven't finished my coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys liked the different format. I will have a Jenny Kane link below, house guest for 25% off. It's such a good deal. The best place for presents and gifts, especially for like your mom, your aunt, your grandma, your sister, anyone in your life, like a nice sweater. It just, oh, and nothing compares to Jenny Kane. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm going to finish getting ready for the wedding. I need to pick out my outfit and my jewelry and all that stuff. That'll be on TikTok and I'll have photos of the outfit on my Instagram. If you guys are coming from this video, comment the wedding ring on my latest Instagram post. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.